As you're aware, we've been doing a series of recharge videos taken exclusively from the Gospel of Luke. As we progress, we've now come to chapter 20. The rejection of Jesus by his own people is reaching its pinnacle, or at least getting near to that, in this point in Luke's account. In fact, at the beginning of chapter 20, there were those who came and questioned his authority. And if you didn't know any different, you might wonder if Jesus really is God's answer, if he really is the Savior, why did so many reject him? Well, Luke, I think, tries to answer that as he explains this growing rejection of the Lord. But Jesus also offers some words that give us some hope and give us some insight into this rejection. In fact, he quotes from Psalm 118 in the verse that I want to share with you from 2017 of Luke. 2017, Jesus said this to them. And he looked at them and said, What then is this that is written? The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Well, you see, in his rejection, something beautiful comes for us. But because of his rejection, he went to the cross and died. He didn't die a martyr's death. He died as a sacrifice for the sins of us all. That being the case, that rejection has led to a wonderful opportunity for all of us. And that's what he's talking about. That stone that the builders rejected, that those in his day thought was not worthy to be considered of anything of importance, has, became, has become the cornerstone, the most essential foundation piece of everything that God is building. And when you think about it, our lives rest on a sure foundation of Christ himself. In fact, all of history rests on a sure foundation of Christ himself. Well, if that is true, and it is, if our lives rest on that foundation, if all of history rests on that foundation, I have one word to give you. Relax. <laughs> uh, set aside some of your worries and anxieties. If you know the Lord is your Savior, relax, because you're on a firm foundation. And even though he was rejected, that rejection led to him being the foundation of everything. Trust in him today. Hope that gives you a little spiritual recharge in the middle of this week. Have a great day. We'll talk to you again real soon.